for today's video. It's going to be another test of the 124 grain Hammer Hunter bullets. I will be shooting it out of a Grendel this time. I'm going to start with some reduced lows to see just how low we can go. I'm really curious to see if these will go as low and still create a permanent wound cavity that's decent. Um, like in my video on the Maximus bullets from Cutting Edge. So let's get started. And you can see just that directional tear in the gel this way. It came in, it tumbled, exited out the other side of my block. And that one was only going 971. So under a thousand feet per second, definitely too slow. That one, see the same thing here. Tumbled. Doesn't look like it punched through my table, but it may have. But again, just a tumble, and that one's at. Thirteen seventy-one. I know in my six-five Creedmoor test, these did open up at under sixteen hundred feet per second. I am not sure what hammer rates them to, but I'm gonna quit wasting bullets, keep these at 1600 plus feet per second, or they're gonna tumble. Hopefully you can see in there what I'm talking about. Decent permanent moon cavity, a tumbling bullet does extensive damage. So that one directional where it tumbled. You don't have the mini stars coming out where the bolt actually opens up. So if you ever see other guys doing low velocity or long range test, you can look at their gel and know that bullet just tumbled. Which in my opinion is a bullet. That's a failure rate for the bullet. It shouldn't be traveling that slow. But it does do extensive damage and it will drop game. I just will not recommend it. Looking all the way through 
one jug and just put a dimple on that one. Well, the bullet's probably down here in the snow somewhere, but I don't see it. So I'm going to try to find it. See, we got decent penetration before it shed petals. Here's one of the petals in between the blocks. That one was going 2,331 feet per second. starting to open up and give us decent permanent one cavity almost exactly on the two inch mark carrying that larger portion is just past the 10 inch mark still carrying decent permanent wound cavity out past the 18 inch mark i have one pedal in the gel at 17 and a half one at 20 and one at 20 and five eighths bolt penetrated all the way through both blocks for over 30 inches of penetration keep these bullets moving fast enough they do do real well um, if you go to my similar test with the 6.5 Creedmoor we're at just over 1500 feet per second on impact where one did actually open up so all these though these are a excellent performing bullet all the way around they did not get me down with good permanent wound cavities and a bullet actually opening at the lower velocities nearly as well as the cutting edge. But I would still highly recommend these bullets. Just make sure your impact velocities are at that 1600 feet per second or faster. And again, hopefully you can see these as good as I can so you know what you're looking for. When bullets just tumble, looks like good permanent wound cavity but it's really just that two directional tear right where the bullet tumbled and nothing else. Well, not too bad a performance. Hope you guys enjoy the video.